having worked at Amazon before, right? I have a soft corner, I should say, for Amazon. I think it'll know in the future, right? So, what do you guys think about other companies like Tesla and Google? No, if you ask me, I think it's going to be hands down Tesla. I think it's going to be Google. It's been 18 years since the company has started and Google is not only uh, into uh, information, it's into advertising, it's into um, uh, these days it's coming up with mobiles, uh, connecting with Nexus. Just talk about Amazon. It started as an online bookstore, right? Not just into e-commerce, it also provides cloud computing through Amazon Web Services. So, uh, it is, I think, the largest online retailer in USA. Tesla is a relatively new company compared to Google and Amazon. It started in 2003. I know you all have in mind Tesla is just an electric car, it's, but it's not just an electric car. They're pushing the limits of electric car. Can you imagine an electric car I mean, traveling at 235 miles per hour? That's insane. And not just that, Elon Musk is the main resource of that organization. And Elon Musk has started many programs like Space Trip Organization and Hyperloop. Hyperloop is like you can travel at 800 miles per hour. Can you imagine? traveling at 800 miles per hour. And the space organization I mentioned, it's like a, they are planning to create a reusable rocket. You can go to space and come back and they're planning to, I mean, I mean like uh, planning a vision on Mars as well. So you can go and settle down in Mars. You can have a space tourism. And so that's future. It's actually owned by those people who are into innovation. And Google is spending a lot of money on their research, R&D uh, R base, I mean, the research laboratories. They have, they have their own uh, Google X, which is inside the Google campus. They have a laboratory where they've, they're spending huge amount on R&D. So Amazon is coming up with drone delivery. So even for that technology, you require Google Maps. So Amazon, see what they're inventing now is the drone delivery, right? It's like it's connected to their connected to their business itself. It's not something futuristic or innovative where people need it. So drone delivery was not just to improve the process. Yes, it is to improve the process of delivering a product, but also to make sure that the customer is getting his product uh, delivered on time and that too quickly. Right? This is not just a process problem, but it is also trying to solve that gratification problem. This car manufacturer, who apparently you think will own the future, is recalling the cars and it failed its autopilot project. I want to know how is it this owning the future? Presently, Tesla might be failing, but it's a futuristic company. Their thinking is futuristic because they're moving into uh, cars which is powered by solar energy. Okay, so that, that's futuristic, okay? Electric car, they're planning to implement uh, or install uh, electric gas stations everywhere. Okay, so you can charge your cars. The theory says that after another 60 to 70 years, there's not going to be enough resources to satisfy the whole population in this world. So we have to look for another, another plan to sustain. How will you go there? How will you get there? You need some uh, rockets to get there. You cannot have a rocket which goes there and just blasts off because it takes billions of dollars to build a rocket. If it's a reusable rocket, you can send and come back. See, that's futuristic. Two people, one is innovators and one is uh, knowledge. So I, I guess Google is doing both. So it is into innovation as well as knowledge. So as you know that everybody, they, they have any queries, any questions, they usually attack Google. So Google has a huge, insane data with them where even Amazon and even Tesla requires. If I use Gmail or if I use any of the apps of Google, now there is a privacy concern, right? Now, so you know that there are few apps and why, why would people go to Google? So let, tell me one thing, in this entire population, what percentage of people have an access to the apps? So even if you want to find out any apps, you usually go to Google. Tesla in the near future is going to develop and you know make sure that the transport system is sustainable. The whole world's mobility will be driven by Tesla. And coming to Google and Amazon, you, both companies are software companies, okay? They can be overthrown by any company overnight. That's not the case of Tesla. It's a hardcore automobile industry which is young and vibrant and making some cutting edge technologies. So I firmly believe that the future is going to be ruled by Tesla. Amazon, so you might be the one who's selling uh, to the world. Tesla, you might be the one who is moving the world, but you both, both of you need to come to me because I have the data. The company that focuses on solving the customer's problems on a daily basis, I think would own the future. Yeah. Google, Amazon and Tesla, they're the leaders in their own domain now. But who knows what future demands, what possibilities can happen. It's very difficult to predict that. But I believe that 
the con combination of all the three companies might create something which is unimaginable. It, it, the collaboration of all the three companies would become the next superpower. But as of now, to predict the future, like who's going to be the next superpower, it's going to be very, very difficult because future is pretty uncertain. Oh, 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 oh,